Good morning. It's Thursday and I still <coughs> feel so awful. Holy crap, when I was waking up this morning, my throat was so painful and it kind of still is. I guess by now, uh, nah, I would say it's still really bad. But out of desperation, I called Instacart, my grocery delivery service, and I said that the item I desperately wanted from yesterday did not make it into my shopping bag. So I finally got it. They were kind enough to deliver it free of charge for me. So here it is. And I already used my, <laughs> I used my lard water bottle to purify the water <coughs> from the sink so I could put it in here and mix it in and drink. Interesting taste. I have never ever drank this before. I will say that my knowledge of medicine is non-existent because I never take any. Even as a kid, my mom would be the one to pick something and give it to me and sometimes she had Chinese medicine. Honestly, some of it I would like to have again, even though I don't know the name of it. I only know it by appearance, slightly. But <clears throat> I've never heard of this before, so I kind of don't know if this will help too much in terms of immediate relief. I kind of doubt it. I did decide to take another sick day because with this level of pain in my throat and I was experiencing a little bit of chills again not doing work it would be stupid for me to <clears throat> but funny thing is I originally did not want to go see the doctor unless a few days happened still and I wasn't feeling any better after but uh, Shane kind of convinced me to go because he said if your throat's still hurting you should go see. Normally my concern is always the price, right? And what is super depressing is that I was browsing Reddit in bed this morning and I saw this one post about how expensive healthcare is in this country, but it was kind of a meme post I guess, but serious discussion where people were writing about their experiences being hospitalized for maybe five days and getting a $35,000 bill and that stuff is so crazy it happens regularly and honestly it really does fuck with your mind because for me I don't go to the doctor very often specifically for those reasons and that's pathetic isn't it you want to avoid making yourself better because you know they will charge you ridiculous prices and it just shouldn't be that way when you are sick you should want to seek help, and normally you would, but there is that big price dollar tag preventing you from going, and I have experienced that firsthand myself. I guess luckily I've never had anything extreme to go to the doctor. Uh, maybe the worst cases for me have always been UTI. I've been to urgent care several times for UTI, but I actually don't recall getting hundreds of dollars in bills for that, which is a little surprising because urgent care tends to be expensive. I once actually went to New York with my ex-boyfriend. We went to the motorcycle show at Javits Center and we were bar hopping before we went to the event. So I was stupid. This was around the time I was starting my first job, so 21 to 22. And something that I noticed whenever I went out to happy hour with my coworkers was that this one guy would always get LIT, which is Long Island iced tea. So I just ended up getting a ton of those while we were bar hopping and I didn't realize what was in it and that it was a very strong drink. So basically, I got super wasted and while we were at the Javits Center, I went into the bathroom and passed out and I guess I was throwing up a lot. They basically forced me to go to the hospital because they said something like, if I can't walk on my own, then I have to go, even though my ex-boyfriend was protesting. So I ended up in an ambulance to go to the hospital and all I needed to do was time to sober up. And it was an $800 fucking ambulance ride. So it's ridiculous here. And I decided still though to schedule an appointment this morning. I think that my insurance should make it so that it's not a ridiculous cost this morning and I just doubt my visit will take that long because he was saying something about them swabbing my cheek or something with my tongue because the main purpose is my sore throat. Pop bears.
you know what I always wonder? <laughs> I wonder if the cone is bad for her ears because it keeps pushing it down. It's like she has no ears. One ear is a lie, and then the other one. Wow, oh. <laughs> we got one this time. Now we got none. I just got out of the doctor's office and I test negative for strep throat and any other infection, I guess. He just recommended that I get something over the counter, something called Aleve, which is anti-inflammatory, but he wouldn't prescribe me anything and I probably wouldn't have taken that because I kind of assume if they prescribe it will cost more. They said there was no copay, so they're going to bill my insurance and then I'll see how much this visit costs. Honestly, this visit was probably a little pointless, turned out to be pointless, but I guess it's good to make sure. But maybe I will regret that decision when I get my bill. I guess I will probably... I guess I will probably just get some Aleve to see if it will help. Because Shane was telling me it has a different active ingredient and could possibly provide some relief. And I am running out of ibuprofen, so I could pick up some more of that. Maybe some throat lozenges or cough drop whatever the fuck you call those things. <laughs> All right, I found one seven minutes away. Hopefully, all right, seven minutes, not bad. I guess I'll head over. All right, so I picked up Olive, and actually the doctor spelled it wrong to me. He said A-L-I-E-V-E. -E. So when I saw this, I was like, mm, this must be it. Fuck that doctor. And I also picked up some throat cough drops or whatever the hell. I never. Man, I am definitely a sheltered adult because I just never buy stuff like this. And actually, I wanted to get ibuprofen as well, but they say that by law, you can't buy two things with the main ingredient being Sudafed at once. So she didn't let me buy Advil. But maybe that's not terrible. If I do ever need it in the future, I guess I can get it separate. Yeah, now that I have these, I can finally go home and rest up some more. I'm freaking, yeah, don't, don't feel so great. Yay, we are ready to go. She seemed so eager. She was all bouncing while I was coming into the room. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah, temporary cone off, but not a big deal because I had her cone off yesterday for maybe 10, 15 minutes, she was chewing her pig ear and then afterwards she did kind of sniff at it and she maybe licked at it once, but after I was like, eh, don't do that, she just didn't do it anymore. But I think that I will probably keep the cone on myself just because I don't want to have to feel like I have to watch her all the time. And obviously if I'm not home, she will be wearing it, but for now, I think it would be nice for her to get a little walk in. Wow, my camera can never focus on Milo. This bag right below me is cat shit that I haven't brought out yet. So I can't stay here too long. It smells like shit. Milo. <laughs> it's late into the evening on Thursday. And holy shit, this is how I sound? My throat is still being so awful. This is crazy. And it's Friday tomorrow. I, I don't know if I'm gonna go in depending on how my throat feels. I feel like if I still sound like this, might not be a good idea to go into work and infect everybody. But I am playing some auto chess. This will probably be my last one before I start my second movie of the day. Man, my throat is really bothering me tonight. Oh, please cure me faster. Hi. Oh man, I haven't tried talking in several hours, but it's six in the morning and I haven't slept yet because my throat is hurting so bad that I can't sleep. The pain is unbearable, so I've been, I don't know, playing auto chess to do something. I don't know what else to do. I don't want to watch a movie. I don't feel like putting my contacts in. And 
I don't know what to do to remedy this feeling. I've tried gargling salt water that does nothing. Um, I've taken my vitamin C. I've taken the Aleve. <clears throat> and I've been drinking a ton of hot water to try to soothe it. But honestly, the soothing lasts as I swallow. And then afterwards, it's just feeling the exact same. The throat cough drops do nothing. And it feels more painful than yesterday. So 6 a.m., I don't really know when I'm going to sleep. I kind of don't want to unless I pass out because I don't think it's going to work. I've, I was lying in bed for hours. And I kind of gave up halfway. I started browsing my phone because there's no way. There's no way I'm falling asleep with this because even if I'm not swallowing, when I breathe, I can feel the pain as the air passes through and that's just bad enough. So yeah, it's um, tough. It's been tough, but I'm trying not to feel too down about it because it will pass, I hope, very soon, please. I really don't want this to persist through the weekend. I've, I'm really looking forward to the weekend and I don't want to feel like this, but anyways, happy Friday everyone.